Hej! Välkomna! Det här, nu, det här är så spännande och så roligt. Jag önskar att alla visste att det här skulle hända nu. Men det är ett nyinsatt, en nyinsatt programpunkt, så det står inte med i programmet. Så jag springer runt och säger, kom hit! Vi har gäster ända från Sydafrika eh, som ni ska få träffa nu. Det är en grupp, ett musikkollektiv som heter Sounds of the South. Och de ska berätta och kanske någonting annat också visa för er hur de arbetar med bland annat musik som ett verktyg inom aktivism och för social förändring. Och samtalsleder gör min kollega på Olof Palmes internationella center i Sydafrika, Enganiso Makeda. Och här har vi Anela Selekwa och Anela Storman. Jättevälkomna. Welcome, you're so welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the power of music and words uh, in the new South Africa. That's our seminar. And uh, to begin with, Sounds of the South. How join in our balazo Silwe limbi lengo notina Aswe lenangwamanda etu Kulo kulume dos peto wezinja Aswele na guamanda etu Kulo kulume dos peto wezinja Em, yem, yem, yem Em, yem, yem, yem Em, yem Welcome to this seminar uh, from this talented group all the way from Cape Town in South Africa known as Sounds of the South. Just to start with, uh, as we start this seminar, remember tomorrow there is a big show by this group uh, at, the music, uh, at the Museum of World Culture at half past six. You can come in and see the full performance by this group. Uh, this morning we just have a few minutes to just talk about what Sounds of the South uh, do uh, in terms of working with the youth and how they use the music, the poetry in engaging the youth uh, and give them a sense of the positive future that they could happen uh, given the challenges that they face with unemployment, with corruption, and all the other challenges that the young people face. Uh, so to go with, uh, let's start by perhaps uh, having the four members of Sounds of the South introduce themselves quickly. Anela. Um, hi, I'm Anela Stirman. I'm part of Sounds of the South, but I'm popularly known as Anela Jamina. Um, so. Anela Sinequa, we are not twins, we are not related. <laughs> Um, yes, member of Sounds of the South as well. Um, in the audience, if you can just stand up, Sam and uh, uh, CD, they are the other two that uh, are with us. We've left uh, quite a number of others, uh, otherwise we could have filled up that whole uh, plane. <laughs> so uh, just the four of us were, 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 were delegated to be here. Thank you so much. We appreciate the opportunity to be here and uh, to share about our work. Um, and as well to learn about the socio-political situation that Sweden finds itself um, as part of uh, just understanding where things are at. Yes. Thank you. Um, you use theatre and music uh, in the context uh, in South Africa for young people to get involved. Perhaps you want to tell the audience here, what is the kind of situation that the youth find themselves in modern day South Africa? Anela. Um, so, in South Africa after 1994, uh, a lot of young people um, had, and, and elderly people had much dreams and aspirations of a new uh, society um, that has been 
um, somewhat voted into um, democracy. But however, that was not the experience of young people, uh, and it's still not as the experience of young people today. Hence, you have Sounds of the South being one of those young people who are using music as a tool to share, you know, the experiences of young people that have, um, that are somewhat showing that South Africa is still an equal um, country. It's still an undemocratic country uh, where. 99% of the young people in South Africa are unemployed, are facing a lot of situations of violence, um, are still staying in what we are uh, taught as to be in labor reserve communities. And I think Anile would add more into giving perspective. Anile, you want to add something? Yes. I mean, we come from a country that has a very proud history of resistance. Um, and that resistance in a lot of times took the form of uh, you know, people singing songs and dancing in the streets to speak about their you know, political aspirations. Um, I mean, we, I, we can mention names of some of the people that uh, we are inspired by. You know, Ma Ma Maumiria Makeba, for example, speaks about you know, um, dancing and singing and laughing in order not to cry. As a, as a pedagogy of, uh, of resistance. Um, so as, as, as sounds, we found ourselves in a situation where our parents and our forefathers and, and long histories of our lineages were fighting against oppression. And what they spoke about in terms of you know, exp uh, explaining this oppression, it kind of looked like what we are experiencing as well as, as, as people who Many of us were born in 1994 and afterwards. And, and, and I think in one of our songs we talk about the, the struggle finding us where we were and us not choosing it, but that struggle choosing us. Because we had, to not, uh, we had no other option but to continue the resistance that our parents and, 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 and our forefathers and foremothers were, were, were fighting for to undo corruption, to undo um, you know, oppression, and, and to fight for you know, imagination uh, of a new, better society that is just, that is equal. Because, the, f for example, we are from Kailicha, to be specific, in Cape Town. And, and, and Kailicha is a home for any social injustice that you can think of. But it's also in a place that is celebrated in the world as one of the most beautiful. In fact, uh, you know, of the seven wonders of the world, two of them are found in Cape Town. Uh, and Cape Town, for example, is voted every year as, a, as an international destination, the best city, you know, among its other ones. But it also has this backyard, you know, of where we come from, which, you know, is a home for more than half of Cape Town's uh, uh, population. Um, and, 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 and if you speak to young people there, they already accepted that they will never work in their entire lives. They, they've accepted that, uh, you, know, you know, they have the minute that they are talking to you and, and, and perhaps the next minute they don't know what it looked like. So the music that we do wants to, you know, assist people to think about that society that we can collectively, you know, imagine and, and, and work towards. But at the same time, it's a music that we think, you know, moves people so that they can realize that actually they are in chains. That the injustices that they talk about, that they experience, are actually man-made yeah. and then can be uh, undone. So you must dance so that you can see that you are in chains and then you have no other options uh, and, and to do away with the chains. Thank you, Anele. Um, Anele and uh, Anela, so far you've talked about music in a very depressing and sad way. It's all about struggle. Uh, it's about realizing we are in chains. Yet, in many instances, music is about expression of joy and happiness. How are you able to give the hope that young people must realize that beyond the fact that I'm not ever going to work for the rest of my life, how are you able to give that hope to those young people in South Africa, given your music and your art? And members of the audience, feel free to raise your hand and ask them uh, so that uh, 
we really want to hear from you as well, uh, especially the young people here in Sweden. What's happening? Is your context the same? If you want to find out the context of South Africa, please feel free uh, to ask the question. So what we do, for example, uh, besides us making the music, we also open up spaces for young people to express themselves and to make music. And for us, we think this dynamic of having a space to create in the face of, um, you know, of not knowing what tomorrow looks like is an important thing because it speaks about you know, wanting to create something that you can be proud of, that, is, you know, that can be shared with other people. And we think that this is an important thing. Um, and it's, it's actually something that once you have created it, you can celebrate and, and be happy about because you know, you're sharing with other people. So, so that dynamic as well, on its own, um, it's something that we celebrate and something that we think it's important when you are facing a, a, a place that you think is not interested to hear what you have to say. Um, so besides that, I mean, I, I think maybe what Sister Anela can do and perhaps, I don't know, other members of Sounds is, is to share just a small song, any song, music, because, I mean, so that people get a sense of what we're talking about. Music is just, it, it, it's not just anything, but it's a thing that, wah, 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 wah. Sister Anela, over to you. Music is the only thing that enters the mind within. It doesn't need no permission, only your admission. Spitting images for your minds to envision. Feed your souls with the healing sounds. Umgula si lo pupa, awuna puma gum gegan de vumeluku pupa, kwali kong and dingonga, dingonga nilinyani vagalizandi o wazulu lizongoma. So thank you. Sorry, so what we are saying here <laughs> what we are saying and which is the beautiful thing about music, um, is that one, we use it to celebrate our past, we celebrate people that have come before us, but we celebrate the, 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 the fact that we are able to come together in a country um, that is known for dividing people. Uh, please sit. You have a chair? <laughs> yes, thanks. So in a country that is known for dividing people, the music that we do and the spaces that we open up are spaces for people to unite and even if it's just for that four hours or for that minute where we are together it's an important symbolic achievement and the more we do this the more we will realize that actually we have a lot in common Thank you. Um, in the different communities that we come from anela you are a young woman are the challenges faced by young women the same as that anele and samgelo face uh, we've just come from a Swedish election. How is it for you, young people, uh, in election time? Is it the same? Are your voices heard? And young people, uh, and anyone in the audience, please, I continue to invite you. If you have any other questions, comments, feel free to raise your hand so that I give you an opportunity to ask them. Um, I would say yes. Uh, the, the struggles that we face um, are, are the same, but somewhat uh, struggles faced by women are more uh, exaggerated on the basis that there are women and on the basis that there are also women, working class women, and they are black. Um, uh, I think in, in, more, in, what, in the work that we do, we have um, you know, tried to map the experiences of young black women in working class areas, uh, which is why we had um, been inspired and inspired more young women to the space of called Rebel Sister Cypher, where we map the, the contribution of women that came before us in, 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 um, in, in, in struggle. And in, by mapping those experiences, we denounce that idea that women have no power. Women have, um, are not able to exist without men. We denounce patriarchy as a, a system that oppresses women and doesn't want to see women grow in society um, and 
the actual experiences of women and the history that women have played in struggle show exactly what strength women have and what role women and the role of women in struggle is. Thank you. Uh, does anyone want to ask a question or a comment? Uh, I think three. Yes, please. Do you want to use the mic? Okay. Um, it, it, it's funny because we got asked the same question um, in the University of Malmö while doing a lecture there about the 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 segregation between the young generation and the old generation. Uh, there is a lot of divisions. There are older people who resonate with uh, young people's struggles currently, and there are older people who think that maybe this is all just a, 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 a young people's thing and we should let go of struggle because we have achieved you know somewhat uh, a, a democracy so there is a, 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 a what is this fragmentation between the struggles uh, held by young people but i think what is what is most important with the struggle of fees must fall was how young people from from universities were able to you know, integrate their struggles for free decolonized education, but with the struggles of workers within the 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 the, 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 the universities by trying uh, to uproot with the idea of outsourcing for work because of the conditions that the workers were working in. And if we know the workers within those universities are our mothers, they are our fathers, and they are better in understanding. You know the similarities of the struggle that we face as students as well as them as the workers um, yeah. yeah thank you um while the audience is still thinking i want to ask uh, samgelo and uh, cd arts uh, in our time of growing up our parents never used to allow us they would say you know what career are you going to hold uh you know you should be a teacher you should be a lawyer you should be a doctor you should be an engineer don't waste your time working with the arts. How, what's the reaction for you now? And are you able to express yourself? I think it's still similar. Um, uh, and it's still the same thing. Um, arts is perceived as a street thing. Um, also, the media is playing a huge role um, into creating that image of art as a, as a habit or as something from the street. But us as Sons of Our South, is the, our take is that artists are workers uh, and artists are, are not uh, separate from the working class. Um, so we, we, we try to convince our parents that this is work, it's similar to what you do and also you mom, you are an artist because you are a creator. When you go to a garden and plant, you are creating. When you iron clothes, you are creating. When you sew clothes, you are creating. So art is, is work and work is art. Thank you very much. That's such a powerful answer. Does anyone want to make another comment, question from the audience? Thank you, Tzidi. You wanted to come. Yes, but you can also add uh, to either this question or the other questions. Thank you. Yeah, no, I think Sam Gelo has captured everything because, I mean, for me, um, when I started to, to be involved in, uh, when it comes to art, I got beat up with my mom, and my mom would beat me so hard that why are you wasting your time? Why are you wasting my money? I take you for, to, to college to go and study and do and this, this and that, but I will have to hide myself. And then now, I always challenge them. Because, I mean, whatever what we see and what we are experiencing in our community is, is, is something that is affecting us. And for me, being in art is a, is a matter of expressing myself, also uh, passing a message to the people that actually um, the work that we do, it's, it's, not, it's not like, um, what can I say? It's not a hobby. I don't but it's slow and good. And then at the same time, um, we have to find in the Lazoba how can we challenge issues Tennessee's face in our communities. But when we, we challenge us, when we, when we, we, when we, you see, sometimes English, yeah. because it's, 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 yeah, yeah. 
What Sidi is saying is that um, you have graduates that are teachers, that are engineers, that are in your normal, you know, non-art, um, who are as well sitting at home. And that's the situation we have in South Africa. That even the, the normal, you know, because sometimes uh, Put it closer when you're you. an artist, it's like you, you, this is a hobby. This is something that you will not be able to sustain yourself. But I'm saying even though the normal careers are as well as sitting with us at home, and it has become a pain, what city is saying is learned. It's a pain. And, and in fact, I think the parents are beginning to notice that actually, um, even if you were to become a doctor, chances are, you would be sitting at home with your degree, with your master's here with us, because that's the pandemic that we have right now as a country. So how so, is the music and the art giving the hope for these young so, people? So that's the point we are trying to make, that now the music is about artists, young people organizing themselves to create themselves, you know, means for them to survive, want to deal with, um, you know, depression, to overcome trauma, to overcome pain, but as well, it's an issue for us to organize ourselves, to imagine a society that is better. And we're saying that creation as well is a joyous journey that is important. Because if we don't do that, the alternative is, 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 is devastating. Okay, thank you. Uh, anyone wants to ask a question or comment? Yes, thank you. Well, thanks very much for the most encouraging seminar so far, and uh, I really enjoy from what you say. Uh, I seriously support your way of using culture as a means of gaining awareness and gaining uh, strength. Still, I'd like to hear uh, what are your reflections on what kind of results did you have so far? How does this awareness and the reduced uh, uh, mental illness uh, display itself, or how can you, in a way, see the results of, uh, or the constructive results of culture, the culture you produce. Thank you. Who wants to take that? I mean, in terms of achievements, what we have uh, seen and we are happy about is that uh, we've seen the change in first in ourselves, in our understanding the power that we have uh, individually and collectively, that it, it will take ourselves for the transformation to happen. We are, no one else is going to help us. And I think that alone is a step, is an important one. But in addition to this, we've seen um, a generation of uh, artists who are beginning to take their craft important and are seeing it as a vehicle of you know, transforming themselves, transforming their society, but as well are seeing it as a new form um, of organizing in our times. In South Africa, we've been failed by political parties. We've been fa failed by even by trade unions. I'm sorry, I will say this. And, and what we are now beginning to do is to imagine new organizations that will carry the dreams of young people, that will carry the dreams of the country. And young people themselves are leading that movement. Um, and I think that's an achievement. And, and I mean, without claiming a lot of things and saying this is us, We've been doing this for the last 15 years. And when we started out, people were saying, what are you doing? You don't need to organize. Go join some unemployment line and try to find a job and save yourself. But what we are in now is more and more political artists are emerging in South Africa, something that we last saw in the 80s. Um, something that we're seeing in other countries as, as a as important but are being killed. Political artists are being killed all over the world. But in South Africa we are reimagining, we are reimagining and coming back to this tradition which is important. So these are these are traditions that we are happy to be part of and, and that we can as well uh, claim to be our achievement. Thank you so much. Uh, the group promises me that before you go you will be part of a global concert uh, in this, uh, in the next minute or so, uh, but before they do, I wanted to just say, and I want them to comment further. I know that their work has been harnessed in different struggles in South Africa. I've seen the 
other organizations call them uh, in the work against um, the environmental damage and the transitional justice. I've seen them being called uh, to support uh, work against uh, gender-based violence. I've seen their work being called for democracy work. I've seen their work. So do you want to, one of you want to say a bit about how you've been called in? And then before we close off with a collective song. Does one want to just talk about it, Sam Gelo? So, Sounds, uh, Sounds of, of the South, beyond of being, um, um, being a group of artists, we are also a collective, a social-political collective. And central to our principles is the principle of solidarity. And in our analysis, we felt like the fragmentation in our struggles in South Africa is a key factor that maybe hinders and delays struggles. So we don't only address moments, but we, we, we try to find a way of dealing with things holistically. So um, in, in so many issues, we feel like they come from one source and they need to be dealt with uh, with certain methods and, and solidarity is the key. So we try to unify all the struggles at the same time, make them joyful, make them youthful and accessible and fun. So all the other organizations see that as uh, something important and something that can help the struggle to continue forward. Batuzo Joina, Joina Gangane, Joina Joina, Joina Zavalazo, Batuzo Joina, Joina Gangane, Joina Joina, Joina Zavalazo, Batuzo Joina, Joina Gangane, Joina Joina, Joina Zavalazo, Batuzo Joina, Joina Gangane, Joina Joina. Thank, Thank you so much. Please remember there is the full performance by Sounds of the South tomorrow at 18.30 at the Museum of World Culture. Please, please, please do come. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sounds of the South. Ja, kom till Världskulturmuseet imorgon kväll. Det blir jättekul. Det är Sydafrika tema hela kvällen. Thank you very much. Vi måste springa på med nästa programpunkt. Stanna kvar. Vi får träffa RFSU och tidningen Åtta nu. Det blir mer aktivism. Så stanna. Eller välkomna in, ni som står och väntar. <skratt>